semi-final match between Pizza Gaming and Mobility Gaming. Thank you all for waiting. We are now going to be watching this match here. As you can see on your screen, on the left-hand side, you will see Mobility Gaming. On the right-hand side, you will see Pizza Gaming. And Pizza Gaming was the victors of the BLG Casually Competitive Tournament last week. So last Sunday, we saw Pizza Gaming take this match, take the entire tournament. So will they be able to move on to the finals again for their second week in a row? Or will they be knocked out by Mobility Gaming? Keep in mind, this is a best of one. So whoever loses here will lose for the week and be knocked out. As we see Sobek being first picked for Mobility Gaming. We see a Thor ban and then a Bacchus ban out of that. So again, they don't really want to see Thor this game, surprisingly enough. This leaves a lot of gods on the table for both teams. But Sobek's going to be the first pick by uh, mobility and then they respond with Amir. Amir is always going to be the next pick following Sobek if Sobek or uh, Sobek Amir or Amir then Sobek regardless of what happens. And then Augie's gonna be picked up for Pizza Game and they do prefer that Augie. High mobility, high sustain, high CC and a lot of burst damage as well so definitely a lot of damage out um, dealing with that. So we see uh, Guan Yu being picked up for Mobility Gaming. We'll see what their second or their third pick is going to be. They might go for a mid or they might go for a side lane carry. Depends on what they want to go for here. Uh, they have a lot of options on the table. Hercules is still on the table. They still can go for Poseidon. Since Poseidon is still available, they're going to go for a Neath. So Neath is going to be picked up by Mobility. If they have the support tanks to Guan Yu and Sobek, and they will have that uh, ranged carry for the side lane. Uh, what do they decide to go for the mid lane? And Kali gets snagged by pizza gaming so we see a lot of Kali yesterday we saw a lot of Kali today we see the Kali up and down in every which way uh you'll even see Kali in the curse of the gods tournament yesterday and the curse final today and in uh blg of course we saw Kali have a very uh overpowering uh performance last game just really took everything down uh to a very basic level and burning people a lot of damage output so we're seeing poseidon being picked up followed by a sun will kong so most likely we'll have Sunwoo Kong laning with Guan Yu, and then Neef laning with Sobek and Poseidon in the mid lane. Uh, for the last pick, we'll see Hercules being picked up. Nope, make that a Hades. Uh, so Hades, uh, Amir for their support tanks. We'll see Kali and on her for their carries, and then we'll have an Agni in the mid lane. Now this is a very good lineup for both teams. There's a lot of benefits, a lot of upsides and downtimes, downsides for both teams. Uh, overall, there's a lot of damage over on the uh, Pizza Gaming side, so they will have a lot of damage uh, with the Agni, a lot of burst there with the burst with the on her. Uh, Kali, of course, doing a lot of damage, and Hades being a very high damage support tank, uh, so a lot of damage there. Uh, they have a lot of CC and Cripple on the enemy team with the Neath, with the Sobek, uh, Guan Yu, Poseidon, and Sun Wukong. Uh, we'll have that burst from the Sun Wukong and Poseidon, um, a good sustain and damage with Neath. I know I am to win, plays a lot of Neath as well, uh, so something very comfortable for him. So we'll see how this works out. Chronox obviously to play that Sobek well. Um, I don't really recall uh, what they played last week for Pizza Gaming. Uh, we haven't seen them too much today as uh, a lot of their matches were delayed um, and kind of went through very slowly. So we're going to be seeing this match go through as we do have about three minutes for us to talk about the settings. We put the now, team again, on the screen so we know who's playing what. On the left-hand side, we will see mobility yet again. And the right side, as last week they requested, I'm not going to just put Pizza because that makes everyone hungry. So I'm going to go ahead and add gaming at the end of that. And just make it fair, we can make it mobility gaming as well. Uh, this is kind of like my own little editing station as I just type whatever I want. Uh, but again, I put pizza last week. Um, I don't really want to have pizza up on screen. Pizza gaming is what it is. Uh, it's a little bit more serious than the Italian delight. Uh, so we're heading back in the mid lane. Looks like we have these players go. So let's go ahead and cover the players and who's playing what on both teams. So let's go ahead and cover this uh, for mobility gaming. We have Peckies on Sun Wukong. In the right lane with Guan Yu played by Tyler. We're going to have I am Te Win on Neath most likely in the mid lane. I know he plays mid. No, Dead Boy's going to be on Poseidon. So Dead Boy playing Poseidon in the mid lane. And we have Neath on, uh, played by I am Te Win uh, laning up with Chronox um, on Sobek. For the enemy team on Pizza Gaming, we'll see Angry Max on Call Lee. Going to be laning uh, with uh, Hades on Dasty. Uh, in the mid lane, we'll see Stony on Agni. And then in the left lane, we'll see Emir played by Avador. And then on her played by tap out QQ. Uh, again, we're seeing on her Amir lane. This is something uh, they're doing kind of like a back to back stare out contest. Um, this is the lane we saw last time. This is a very powerful lane. Again, a very old lane. You'll see a lot Amir on her. Uh, didn't really work out too well um, for uh, lock and load last match. They got kind of stomped out by the Kali. Uh, so we'll see how that works out for them this time around. Uh, as they do clear out the medium camp, the, med the mid player is helping them out with damage buffs. 
the damage buff will most likely go to that call lead. Um, they'll head over to the blue buff and clear that out as well. Uh, let's look at the starting items for all these players. Pretty standard for all uh, picks there. Looks like uh, Poseidon elected to not get his boots. Um, wanted to get two active items instead of boots and the Magi. Uh, so a good pickup for him there. And has all three mana potions and two healing potions. Uh, we'll be able to pick that up. We see a potions and two healing potions. Uh, we'll be able to pick that up. We see a Mark the Vanguard and a Hand of the Gods being picked up. Hand of the Gods actually being picked up by Monkey as well. And they will see two girdles for mobility. This is a very, very aggressive type active item itemization. Uh, so you see the Hand of the Gods and the Monkey. Monkey's going to try to roam and farm as much as he possibly can. Uh, this is going to hurt him mid and late game. Uh, but early on, it's going to allow him to scale up very, very quickly. And hopefully that's enough. Uh, to help them with the team fights and get far enough ahead where it's very valuable for them. Again, we're going to see two um, two Girdle of Mites up for mobility game, which means Poseidon is going to be very vulnerable in the mid game uh, as he has that Girdle of Might. But we'll be able to pop that right before his ultimate. Uh, we'll burst down a lot of players. And if he can land a perfect ultimate, it uh, will be very valuable for him. As we check in on the other lanes, we see Poseidon actually pushing in the mid lane very, very aggressively. Uh, we'll have that extra little bit uh, from the consumables he got and to push this lane up as Agni tries to defend. In the right lane, see Guan Yu dashing in on top of the Kali. Now trying to engage here as Monkey goes directly after this. Kali trying to go for engaging there on top of the Monkey. Monkey dropped about one third HP and Kali being forced to retreat. But Kali does have the damage buff and the blue buff, whereas the Monkey only has the CDR buff but does have the movement speed buff as well. Uh, so we'll have the extra mana. You see Kali sticking at full mana right now because of that mana buff. Uh, we'll also have that uh, damage buff as well to do a lot of burst damage. We see the left tower being forced in uh, by Neath and Sobek as they try to defend this up. Monkey dropping down about half HP, again pushing this back. We see the blue buff and the damage buff up. This is a very powerful uh, early advantage uh, for a lot of characters, uh, being able to have the blue buff and the damage buff, which means you can constantly harass. You can constantly go for some push and some uh, damage on this, but there's also a great root there as the charge rate lands on top of the reef. A uh, great impale as well, but each able to be enough to buy them some time to get the killer. Great wall, but is it going to be enough? The charge rate coming out. Frost breath only lands on the Sobek, and the backflip will be enough to pick off that Amir. The charge fray came out directly into the weave that was on the ground, and the root came down. Excellent engagement there in the left lane for mobility, and they're going to take the first blood. 1-0 now at the two and a half minute mark, about a little less than 1,000 gold lead, which is very, uh, which is a large, well, actually 1,000 gold almost now uh, at the two, almost three minute mark is a very, very high lead uh, this early on in the game. You see the right lane engaged pretty well. Again, Poseidon pressuring this really hard. Uh, level 5 now, pushing this all the way up to the tower. The tower is actually taking a little damage already. Uh, so mobility coming out strong, setting the pace. Looks like fall here to the monkey. Does he have a dash in time? Does overhand smash for a double kill on the monkey. Huge engagement there. And I got to point my finger at that Hades for waiting so long to engage on that Guan Yu. And then going in after the fact, before uh, Kali could have got a kill there. Just a lot of hesitation and then decide to try and make up for it after the moment had passed and lost the opportunity and also lost his life. So good engagement there for Mobility Gaming, able to get a double kill on the much needed call lead. There's uh, Agni going for a meteor on top of the Poseidon and the ranged minion. In the left lane we see Sobek holding it down against Amir and on her. And we'll be able to see that. Right lane we see Monkey going directly at this tower, getting ready to head on back and buy some items for himself. So they're getting forced to solo a lot. Neath kind of roaming around. It's level 13 now versus the level 14. The Poseidon's doing a good job there. Frost at the top of it. Impale into the wall. Is it going to be enough here? Sobek does not have his ultimate. He's going to dash back towards the tower. Great tail whip and then dash, dash in the tower. Excellently played there. On her just trying to hit the tower. Just want to get the poke in on that. But Sobek's just kind of preventing him from doing so. Getting a lot of free farm here. A lot of free uh, experience as well. Able to hold him off as Amir kind of rotates over. Puts a ward down. No. Two wards up. Three wards up actually. Uh, for mobility gaming here towards the gold fury and we're going to see three wards up for piece of game in front of the fire giant one in front as monkey comes to the backside do they try to pick jumps in top lands the slow on her still has it but the neath ultimate is going to come in on top of this neath ultimate is so valuable to mobility gaming great wall there by the near to slow him down enough to stop the fight from coming out it looks like they're just going to have to back off but that Neath ultimate comes in clutch every single time since they're very, very uh, coordinated on mobility gaming. That Neath ultimate comes out right when they need it to and possibly able to pick up those kills. Arnie's going to go towards the Gold Fury. He might run directly into the Monkey. Kind of wards this ward. Does Monkey have a ward? He does not. So we'll not have to counter the ward that, but most likely telling his team that he did so. Uh, Neath mid lane, they'll farm that up. 
There's a spirit arrow. Not able to land. There goes the backflip to make sure he doesn't get caught by anything. Uh, forced to retreat. Two players in the right lane. There's Poseidon in the right lane. Uh, level 14 against the level 11 and level 12 on the enemy team. Can he pick up a kill here? That's the question. Here comes Monkey. Girl Mike gets popped. Guan Yu pops his ultimate. Overhand smash. There's a Poseidon ultimate come through. It has Happy New Year. Keep inside the Hades. Hades actually pops his ultimate and almost kills the Guan Yu. Guan Yu will fall to the tower here. Hades again exchanging his life for something, but here comes the Augie. He's already able to pick up a kill here or not. We'll see if he can. Whirlpool's going to slow him down, and he will be forced to retreat, but a good engagement there. Trading the Hades um, and the Kali for Guan Yu is, again, a very valuable engagement for mobility. As you can see, they're up by about uh, a little less than 3k. As Kobe comes from the backside, Augie in trouble here. There goes the dash. It's going to be enough. Charge Prey's going to come out right after. Is it going to land? Stun comes out just in time, but still throws him backwards. Now back into the Poseidon Whirlpool. Pops the beads. Is it going to be enough to save his life? Pops easy damage, but he will fall shortly after. Overhead, there's the, the somersault. Will he fall? He's actually going to get away. A lot of missed opportunities there for Mobility Game, but Sobek says not this time. And he's going to dash away. Sobek dies to the Phoenix. He says, I don't even care at this point. Monkey drops kind of low. Augie might go for initiation here. There's the stun or the uh, ultimate from the Meteor, but they're just going to back off, losing Sobek. And the players are going to be responding. They're just going to try and hold this off as long as they can. But again, losing those Phoenixes, going directly into this match, is going to help out mobility. And they're just going to try and go for the War of Attrition, the safe route. Not trying to force anything and possibly wiping on the Minotaur. They just want to get the Phoenixes and get that map control. This allowed them to pick up the Fire Giant. Unfortunately enough, Sobek did die. And Guan Yu died as well. So neither of those players will get the Fire Giant if they decide to go for it. Looks like they're just going to back off here. Uh, hold on to the map control, steal some buffs, and head home. We're going to see on her heading out of the base now. All five players up for Pizza Gaming. Uh, two players down for Mobility. Now just one as Guan Yu does respawn. Look at the item situation. We see the Breastplate of the Valor finished by the Hades. Going directly into the Magi's Blessing uh, Tier 2 there as the Void Stone uh, being picked up by the Emir after the Sovereignty. The Sovereignty is going to help out his team a lot. Now we see the Wall of Absolution up on the uh, Guan Yu going directly into the Bulwark of Hope. We see a Bulwark of Hope and a Wall of Absolution on the Sobek as well. More of a dank, tanky damage build. Uh, being able to burn down people by themselves, but also keep the sustain and taking this for themselves. Counter warding going down for mobility gaming in front of the fire giant. We might see an engagement here as Poseidon's actually in the mid lane, uh, farming up the damage buff. Looks like Amir is going to catch him, uh, but that's a whole lot Amir can do about this. Just trying to zone him out here. As you see, level 24, the Poseidon is just going to zone him out and tell him to go away as Monkey catches the Amir. But Amir's kind of a hard one to kill. They're actually going to pop in on the Amir, forcing the easy damage, but there might be a lot of cooldowns. He might be able to pick this up. A lot of crits coming down. You see the large red numbers coming down, burning down. The Emir in the mid lane, and that is going to be their first pick, and this might be enough for them to pick up the Fire Giant. 4v5 is not a situation you want to be in when you're behind 14,000 gold. There's Neath Ultimate. There's the Happy New Year. There it comes on, on town. The Emir being forced back. Here's the Neath Ultimate top of the Agni, stunning him down. And there's the dash from the Guan Yu on top of him, pops the girdle. There's the Tower of Assault, lowering his protection, using the bees, but it's going to be enough. The dash comes through, and Monkey's chasing after the Emir, or the Honor still. Now being forced low, there's the bouncing around. Is it going to be enough? They're still trying to chase this. They're going after the honor. Honor dropping quite low by the monkey. Monkey forced to retreat because of the obelisk, but Augie's still low as well. All five players still up for mobility. Do they decide to go for fire jet? Looks like they're going to. And there's not a whole lot that Pizza can do about it. You see on her very low on HP. You see Augie very low on HP. They're going to have to go home to heal up. And it's going to buy time for mobility to just burn down this fire giant and get this extra buff. The fire giant does provide mana regeneration. It provides health re regeneration. Also physical power and magic power. So it's a very big benefit to your team. As Sobek and Guan Yu go out to try and zone them. Monkey taking this up. Gonna finish off the Fire Giant with a 600 damage crit. Now gonna push into the lane. Uh, the mid Phoenix and the right Phoenix are gonna be responding soon. So they can very easily clean those back up. And then go for the throat on the Minotaur. Again, it's just gonna come down to the towers. We see three towers down uh, for mobility. And all six outer towers plus two Phoenixes down uh, for a piece of gaming. As the mid Phoenix does respawn now. And the right lane Phoenix is going to be spawning in about 10 seconds or so. So they will have those Phoenixes up. They need to baby and nurture those Phoenix. They cannot lose any more Phoenixes. They cannot be locked into their base. They have no map control. They cannot venture out. This right Phoenix should be spawning in a few seconds here. Uh, make sure they keep these alive. The Phoenixes do slightly regenerate. So if you keep them alive for a long period of time, you will have that extra HP. As you see, the right Phoenix is just now spawning. So all three Phoenixes available for Pizza Gaming. But can they defend them in time is the question. 
We see mobility pushing in for the mid Phoenix, probably going to burn that down immediately. Then go directly to the right Phoenix, kill that as well. Impale comes out, does not hit on top of anyone. A mirror force retreat. Good ultimates from the Ani. Charge prey. There's the ultimate or the ultimate from the Guan going down on three players, including the Kali. Sobek ultimate comes out as well. See if they can go on top of that. There's the ultimate from the Amir. Can they get this in time? There's the Hades ultimate going down. Uh, Frenzy coming out for the Kali. Oh my God, the Hades taking so much. The Poseidon ultimate will burn down the Kali. Sobek killing him as well. There goes the damage. Uh, the minutes are taking a lot of damage as at the current time of this team fight as well. There goes the Happy New Year. Is it going to be enough? Monkey Burden, the, uh, uh, the Amir, about to half HP. On her goes for the Impale. Misses the Impale yet again. It's the second Impale he's missed in this team fight. Good stun by the Arnie, but is it going to be enough to keep them out of the base? It won't. Charge spray on top of the Arnie. Arnie or on her gets burned down immediately by the burst damage. This is looking very grim. For Pizza Gaming, they might get eliminated here in this process. Uh, Mir going in, trying to defend the Minotaur, but he's going to fall in the process. Cloud's Breath comes out, but he dies to the Guan Yu. Now one player alive, being that Augie. They're just going to go directly for the Minotaur, tanking it up. They need some minions, but the minions are on their way. Ani trying to push this out. Do they try to go for the kill, or do they just go for the Minotaur? Ani going for some burst damage on the ultimate. Dash, is it going to be enough? Sobek getting hit by the Minotaur, survives in time. Guan Yu zoning out the Augie. He's going to be able to kill the Augie, is the question. As we bring out the scoreboard, check those items one last time. Minotaur will fall. That's going to be a GG. Pizza Gaming loses out in the semifinals. And Mobility Gaming will move on to the finals 27-12 to in this epic match between last week's victors and the new and improved Mobility Gaming.